everybody, thank you for being here. We are here today to draw attention to the fact that while the mayor is insisting on displacing Lucerne residents here who already have hotel rooms and safety from COVID, there are 5,500 people who are still sleeping in congregate shelters, some 10 or 15 to a room. If you have 15 or 20 people in a room, you have a potential super spreader environment. And so we are here asking that the mayor actually take a step back and think about what the priority is for a move. If there are rooms available at the Radisson, the people who desperately need them are those sleeping in congregate shelters, 15 to a room, or those sleeping unsheltered on the streets as winter starts. I think the issues are very clear. I hope those of you with cameras will focus in on a stick figure and ask people to imagine that that is a human being. That is a person who, for whatever set of reasons, currently does not have a home and is being housed by the city in a congregate shelter, squeezed together, no social distancing, no space, no services. Those people need rooms, and it will be a challenge to the city of New York to find them rooms. The city needs to devote all its energy to making those people, helping those people move to those rooms. And instead, the city is playing ping pong with the lives of now 190 men left in the Lucerne. Most of them have been moved four times in the last five months at the whim of the city, at the whim of the mayor. Nobody can survive that kind of transiency. None of us could survive it. These men have proved their resilience. They're making a contribution to the neighborhood. They're interlocking and talking with their neighbors. And most importantly, they now have at the Lucerne a full complement of the services they need for addiction, for mental health, and most importantly, for employment training. And many of them, thanks to the amazing work of Project Renewal and Goddard Riverside, have gotten jobs, jobs they may not have had for the last two, three, four years. There is no logic in disrupting the lives again of 190 men and moving them to Lower Manhattan where there is another court case against them and where there are rooms that could be used for the 5,500 people in congregate shelters. Thank you. Uh, I first want to thank uh, Corinne Lowe and Upper West Side Open Hearts, Garden Riverside, for the support that they've given to all of the all of the folks who are currently living here in this in the hotel i'm going to do one quick chant when i say housing you say justice housing justice. housing justice. when i say housing you say justice justice housing justice. this is a time of thanksgiving at a time of thanksgiving this city is about to throw people out of where they've been living for a long time now this is unconscionable we at the Public Advocate's Office implore the mayor to halt this action and abandon this attempt to placate a few privileged individuals by displacing homeless New Yorkers in need. Relocating homeless populations does nothing to address the homelessness crisis. All it does is it makes it harder for you to see. As we face a second wave of COVID-19, a record 5,500 New Yorkers remain in potential super spreader congregate shelters. That's right. It's really not that complicated. We have our hotel rooms empty all over this city that would more than accommodate the people who are in these shelters. I implore the mayor to do the right thing. I'm here to announce today that the Lucerne residents will be appealing last week's court decision. Right. And we will be filing a motion for a stay pending appeal so that to stop the Lucerne residents from being forcibly relocated downtown until a full appeal is heard. As the court recognized, it is the homeless Lucerne residents who have a real and substantial interest in where they are being sent by the city, not those few in the neighborhood who want to kick them out. Worse, the city's decision to transfer Lucerne residents was nothing short 
of arbitrary and capricious. The city has failed to provide a single piece of evidence that demonstrates a rational basis for this decision. There's no review, no study, no analysis done that showed that moving the residents would be a good idea. But it's not too late for the city to take an, undertake an actual review process to figure out which homeless residents should be moved. We urge the mayor's office and the city to look at the number of homeless individuals still in crowded congregate shelters while the pandemic rages on and consider moving them to a hotel shelter. Let the Lucerne, Lucerne residents continue to thrive where they are. We're approaching what might be the most dangerous winter that unsheltered homeless New Yorkers have faced. When we speak to people on the streets, they can't find places to go to the bathroom. They can't find places to drink water or to eat. And all of those challenges are going to be made worse by the cold weather that we're already feeling and is only going to get worse. At the same time, the city and the Department of Homeless Services have unlocked a valuable resource in the Radisson Hotel in downtown Manhattan. And unconscionably, instead of using that resource for people who are living on the streets in that neighborhood, they're using that resource to move men from the Lucerne to please a small group of vocal residents who do not understand homelessness. The irony of it all is if you look and you read what people in this neighborhood are angry about, oftentimes they're actually angry about people who are living on the streets. And they're not smart enough to differentiate people who are homeless on the streets and people who are homeless living in the Lucerne. And when you look at what actually is moving people off the streets or the subways right now, the answer is hotel rooms. More hotels. More hotels. After, the, after the first six weeks of the subway shutdown, people were eight times more likely to move off the streets into a hotel than they were into a shelter. That's because people were making rational decisions. It is not a safe time to be living in a congregate environment where you're sharing a room with a dozen or more people, but it is a safe time to move into a hotel room. So the thing that would actually make people happy here is the thing that ironically they're fighting against, more hotels. So please, please take a moment and listen to people on the streets. They will tell you that they desperately need a place to stay. Hotel rooms do the trick. The, the, the Radisson in, in downtown Manhattan should not be used to move people from the, the men here. It should be used for people who are living on the streets, living on the subways, or living in congregate shelters. Thank you. When I say, Mayor, Mayor, you say, where is your heart? Mayor, Mayor! 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 Where is your heart? It's great to see you. Boy, great to see you. I, it's just unbelievable that we're standing here today. And I want to pick up on Corinne's chant, right? Mayor, Mayor, get a heart. And at this juncture in what is a whiplash situation going back and forth, stay, go, the courts, DHS, this lawsuit, that lawsuit, as all that has transpired, you know what has not happened? What has not happened is what people feared. People were scared that there would be crime on the street. People were scared that they would get attacked uh, meaninglessly. Well, gosh, as we've seen this court drama go on, none of that has transpired. None of it. I track this stuff every day. I have people calling my office every day. And at this juncture, the people who call and email and ask for these men to stay here are far outweigh the number who are the opposite. Far outweigh. The Upper West Side is clear. Our values, our strengths, what holds us to, as a community together is love, is understanding, is what is traditionally progressive values. There's no excuse anymore. Mayor de Blasio, there's no excuse. There's no reason to move these men. Let them stay. Let them stay. Let them stay. Let them stay.
Let them stay! Let them stay! don't like homeless people and want them out. So first the excuse was they didn't have enough services. Well, guess what? Through the leadership of the Homeless Hero, we have brought six day a week on-site addiction services right here to the Lucerne. So now the excuse is, oh, somehow the Radisson is a better facility. Well, guess what? Now I want to hear them talk about those 5,500 people in congregate shelters who need that better facility. Who need those rooms in the Radisson. So what's the excuse going to be when they go after the Belle Claire and the Belle Nord next, which is what they're already talking Absolutely. about? We are tired of these this pretended concern for shelter residents. Shelter residents have spoken for themselves and said that they want to stay. That's, That's the right thing. And by the way, the judge did not say they have to leave. The judge said she couldn't stop the city. So what we are here today to say yeah. is, Mayor de Blasio, you are free to act with your conscience in this case now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Let them stay. And Shams has just reminded me that we have repeatedly invited the mayor and the first lady to come here and see the incredible thing that we have built here, which is a shelter with on-site services, with community support, with integration into the neighborhood. And he and the first lady have both declined our invitation multiple times. So if they have any questions about what's going on here or the needs of the residents here, they are free to come here and speak to them themselves. And we have asked them to do that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, we're going to do an appeal, as my attorney uh, said, but what I really would like to happen is for the mayor to actually pull back on this. It's really up to the mayor. Uh, and I would love for him to come to the Radisson, I mean, sorry, definitely not that, <laughs> to the Lucerne and meet with us residents and meet with the service providers and, and the staff and also all members of the community, you know, work to basically bring us all together. We've done such great work thus far. We want to continue doing the work as we ride out the pandemic. One of the things that's important to understand is that since we had the last TRO, which is a little more than 30 days ago, 30 people have moved into permanent housing. So this is something that didn't exist before. And eventually, what, it, what the objective is, is to empty the Lucerne. How about emptying the Lucerne in that way? You know, by moving us into permanent housing. That's what the goal is. So we're trying to ask the mayor to come and work with us. Um, his wife, we invited the first lady as the head of Thrive New York City to see the good work that we're doing in terms of services and programs and, and the good work that Project Renewal is doing. We can actually create a model as we've been trying to do that could be replicated throughout the city. Um, and yes, there's still going to be people who may be opposed to hotels or housing shelter people inside their communities, but we can show that we can also engage the community in a positive way that will bring about uh, a smooth transition and a better relationship between the shelters and the, and the communities and stuff. We've done it here, and we just want to continue that uh, as we're here and, and continue it through the city. To, to actually move us would disrupt all of that. It would tear that down, and, and that's something that I don't want to see. Walking. Okay.
Keep on talking, marching down the freedom.